Yo, what's going on today, fam? So today I'm gonna be doing my break upgrade. And so this is just a part of Nurburg ring prep that I got going on. As you can see, I already got the car on the stand, wheels off. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. So on the front, I gotta use Willwood Super Light Big Brake Kit. There's six pistons all around. I'm gonna be running Raybesto ST43 brake pads. Obviously, I got the stainless steel lines with the rubber cover. For brake fluid, I'm running the ATE Type 200. New racing quality brake fluid. And, um, and for the rear, I'm just gonna replace it with OEM rear rotors and Hawk HP Plus pads in the rear. So I'm gonna start with the rears first and I'll just go through the motions. All right, so I'm gonna break down like pretty much what needs to happen. So I need to remove like this rear bolt right here. It's a 15 millimeter. And then there's another one down here, which is also 15 millimeter. So I already pre-loosened those. And then the caliper slides off like so. I'm just gonna put my caliper up here. And then I need to remove these two bolts that's holding the actual caliper mounting bracket on. Uh, and then my old brake pads, and so that way I can remove, uh, I can remove the rotor, and I can install the new rotor, and then I'm just gonna be reverse installing that. So I'm just gonna do a time lapse because it's pretty simple. Alright, so I just now got done with my rear brakes on my side, and I got my boy Felix working on the other side. But everything went pretty smooth. You can see I got the new pads, and I got the new rotors, so everything's looking good. Look all pretty and whatnot. Hey Felix, bro, how's it going over here, B? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna let Felix go ahead and wrap that one up. Then next, and we're gonna move on to the actual big brake kit install. For the front, I'm just gonna walk through what needs to be done. So, and so it's pretty much the same as the rear. So we gotta get this caliber like mounting bolt out right here. Gotta take top and bottom one down. And then we got the actual like bracket. And for the caliber, we gotta undo right here. And then I have to undo this brake line right here and then we will be ready to install our new bracket caliber and rotor etc etc so i'm gonna go ahead and do that I'll see you when it's done all right so i got everything off of the hub it's just bare now all i gotta do is just start to install all of the willwood hardware but before that let's take a quick look for a size comparison of the stock rotors versus the Willwood two-piece rotors. So they're both a 13-inch rotor, so no difference in diameter, and they look about to be the same thickness also, but, but these are gonna be lighter, and these Willwood ones are gonna cool better, they're gonna last way longer on track than these stock ones, so I'm looking forward to seeing if I'll be able to really like feel the difference in the braking when all this stuff is performed, but I guess we'll see. So I'm just gonna go through the steps of what needs to be done to install the Willwood Big Brake Kit. First I'm gonna start with the brackets. So pretty much, Willwood tells you to put two shims on here to help to space the bracket correctly. So all I'm gonna do is bolt this up right here, like so. I'm just doing this hand tight right now. I just to make sure I have the proper spacing for my caliper. And then from there, I'll talk everything down. One last thing before I start to bolt all this stuff on. But I just want to do a size comparison of the stock calipers versus, versus the Willwood Super Lights. So, and the stock ones are two piston and it's a sliding caliper design. And these Willwoods are a six piston fixed caliper design uh, and they're also and they're lighter than the OEM calibers so pretty much I should get way better feel and from the brake pedal with these um 
And I think overall it will be a pretty good mod because like these will help me to actually like save money on pads and rotors because the wheel woods won't go through consumables as quickly. So, all right, let's get these on. All right, so I got everything test fitted right now. It looks like my caliper is centered. Uh, there's no rubbing when I spin the rotor, so that's a good sign right there. Um, so now it's just time to tighten up all the brackets and go ahead and put in my pads, install my lines, and then I should be good to go and bleed. All right, so I got the caliber all mounted, tightened down, like tidied up, torque, all that good stuff. Everything looks good. So now I just need to install my line. And I have my line right here. The line just screws into this. And then it goes to a 90 degree fitting on the back right here. So it'll screw in like that. Um, and that's all. And then from there, I'm just gonna bleed my whole system out got done and with the Willwood brake install on the C5. Um, so now we're gonna move on to bleeding. And so on the O1 Plus, like C5, they have a weird bleeding sequence. It goes rear right, front left, rear left, front right. So we got this handy dandy air bleeder right here. So it shouldn't take too long to go to knock that out right now. So I got all my brakes bled, everything feels good, I don't see any leaks. So now I'm going to change my crush fluid and I'm going to use the Ranger method. So pretty much all you do is take a turkey baster and the clutch reservoir and then you just keep cycling like fluid through. So as you can see it's pretty dirty now. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out now. I'm all done for the day. I got my brakes changed. I got the big brake kit installed and I also got my clutch fluid changed. So I would call it a success. So I'm in the video here. Um, so I gotta clean up, put back on my wheels, but I'm just gonna go ahead and knock that out. So if you like the video, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Cause I got more good stuff heading your way. Peace, I'm out.